Hello, this tutorial, it's about the new update. Um, I added shake sounds like in Half-Life Alex. When you pick up the um, objects in the game, you can shake them and sometimes they have um, like liquid sounds inside of them or uh, spray bottle sounds like this dinging sound, like the marble inside. Um, yeah, and that's what's in this pack now. Um, we're just gonna add it to um, like this thing is supposed to be a, a pill bottle. Um, yeah, we have in this normal physics collision sound blueprint, if we scroll down, there's this shake sounds option. And if we add a shake sound, we can search for shake. There are seven new sounds for that now. And we're gonna choose the uh, shake pills sounds shake builds cues are okay too doesn't matter what you pick um yeah there's this thre threshold slider um it's if you crank it up it detects the um shake earlier or it it plays more shake sounds and if you go down it will play less shake sounds uh, then there is the pitch multiplier shake. I, I think that that's self-explanatory. It just the pitch that is changed. Uh, volume can be changed with a multiplier. And then there's this dampen sound slider. Um, it's more like a low pass filter. Um, if you go down, it will sound like it's inside of an object. If you have like a water sound, and you want it to want to use it for um, different objects like this plastic thing here, this gasoline plastic thing. Um, it would have less dampening of the sound than um, this barrel because the walls are thicker for the barrel. So uh, that's the well, what the low pass filter, the dampen sound slider is for. Um, so that you can use it for multiple objects and don't have to need to have multiple sounds for every object. Um, yeah, that's a quick little trick. Uh, now the sounds would only play if they hit, if the object hits something or if the speed changes too fast, something like that. But we also wanted to change the sound when it's picked up specifically in VR. We do this by, uh, if we choose our pawn, VR pawn, um, open it up, and you have this functionality over here, and we're looking for the grab actor. Um, normally, there shouldn't be this pin in here. Uh, let's pretend this pin wasn't here yet. <laughs> We're gonna edit. Normally it's not there. Um, okay, what we need now is the new shake macro. We need it two times. Once for the left hand, once for the right hand. And uh, we just connect the grab to the grab. Same here, and the release to the release. This could also work for um, first person stuff if you do a line trace and you pick up an object with E or something like that, or release the object. It's this, essentially the same thing. Um, in that case, you would have the uh, hit event and then you would um, go from the uh, line trace to the scrapped actor on the yeah. Um, what we need now is the tick. Let's look if the tick is in this scene. There it is. Just drag it up here. Maybe a little cleaner if we put it here. And we need it two times, so we could just put a sequence here. And drag it in there, two. 
So what we need now is this pin that isn't shouldn't be existent by now. But I th I guess I didn't remove it properly before. Uh, normally it's not there. So we go into this function, just double click the function, the grab actor function, and um, click on the grab actor. Then go to output, click on the plus. Then there's an extra uh, output pin here. And just search for actor. Actor object reference. We can change it to grabbed actor or something like that. Then you drag it to the end over here and pull the pin in here. And we need our grabbed actor. It's in this case, it's its attached actor. Just drag this over here and essentially. That should be it. There's the grabbed actor. Just drag this in here. Over here, there's the same thing. Put it in there and compile. Should be it. Hope this works. Let's see. I also equipped some shake sounds to uh, these other objects. Um, just to show you, can. Is the different stuff, the different sounds. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we're in VR here. This is our pill bottle. Grab it. Yeah, maybe we should play with threshold a bit, but there's also like this thing is like sounds of uh, yeah tools. Okay, you can hear the dampened liquid sound. I don't know if that makes sense in a gas canister. Can also hear it when it falls down. And in here, it's also a liquid sound, but it's less dampened because the plastic is big. There's thing, and over here, spray can. And the barrel, the big barrel. Okay. Playing moment. Okay, I hope you could hear. I think it's working pretty well. And that's the update. Um yeah. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below or write me an email. And um, yeah, the asset for this is, of course, in the Unreal Engine Marketplace. The link will be in the description. Um, thank you for watching.